Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scott, so welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we made it all the way to Jupiter Lighthouse. I mean, sorry, Jupiter, jeez. Where am I? Who am I? Where is life? Um, Venus Lighthouse, and then we immediately left because we have one last thing to do this way. Let's take on these guys. These are. Oh, dang it, I didn't restart, reset my Jin. That's not good. These are Chimera, and you're fighting too, so that's a kind of a little bit scary. That's going to lie. Uh, I wonder if it'd be a good idea. This too, so that means they're gonna probably be a little tough monkeys, tough little monkeys. We should actually probably focus all our firepower on just one. They're level 28. They have 1,350 hit points. They drop 800 gold and 465 experience points. Um, they do have 100% drop rate. Uh, they have Rabbit Fang, which is actually pretty deadly and can poison you. They have Mad Dash, Fire Breath, Flare Storm, Guard, Impair, and Binds. Might actually be oof. Okay, that's not bad. Dare to use the meat theater. I mean, it's not all bad. I forgot to set my Jin back just because, you know, we get quick summons here. So, when rushing isn't always bad. Uh, Alright. Yeah, well, I guess we can boost our defense. Okay, I guess we can attack this guy. We'll concentrate all our firepower on the left guy, I guess. Although, I don't think I was doing that earlier. Looks like we can survive at least that in the Oh, there we go. There's a double plus attack. It kind of hurts to use me for anything other than healing, because it almost makes you think like, oh, I'm wasting it. I'm wasting your synergy. Nice, no, didn't work. Ugh. Eh, maybe we should heal this turn. I think we'd be okay, but I don't want to risk anyone dying. Dang again, that hail that Mia just got is pretty tempting. Grounds? Eh, we use Vine, I guess. Uh, Squall, there we go. Ooh, you'll spritz, there we go. Perfect, that way we can still be using- Oh wow, he's already dead! No way! Cool beans, bro. Cool bean indeed. One thing I really do wish is if you kill an enemy, like I think Garrett- Yeah, Garrett is defending. That's because he had already- uh, We had already killed Chimera 1. I really wish when you try to attack, it would just, you know, it would shift the attack over to the other enemy on the field. I don't understand why that's a thing. I don't know. Torch. And if you store, okay, he should be dead. Either this turn or next turn. Nope. Wow, okay. I expected him to die there. Hoo-wee, little doggy, hoo-wee. Look at those eyebrows. Eyebrow game. Fierce on fleek. Fleek fierce. There we go. Dead. Dude. Pretty easy, actually. And a potion. That's our 100% drop. Hey, LMAO. Ooh. This room looks interesting. Um, alright. Nope. <laughs> Expect the move to still be there. Looks like this is the, uh... Last room was kind of clean the forest-ish, except everything was all dead and green, all kind of swampy-like, I guess. This looks like maybe the Venus Lighthouse slash Tunnel Ruins section. I think that's maybe what this is supposed to be rep uh, rep representative? No. Nope. Reminiscent of, there we go. Yay! Oh no. Oh crap, we gotta move that chest. Which is really weird, I think this is the only time in the game where you see a chest just on top of that. Top of one of those lads. Oh wow, we didn't have to go up that ladder. Uh, push him. Push him all the way up. Push him all the way up. Good. Good, good. I didn't even slide down like that. I could just jump across like this. Hmm. Very, very white. Was there a reason I did that? I don't know. This is a really weird room, by the way. Wait, how do I get down there? Oh, snappers. <gasps> Hello, hello, friends. Oh, you. Ooh, ooh, you're dead. You're dead to me. Oh, hello. Oh, no. We're gonna have to move this all the way through there, aren't we? Oh, God. I'm not just like, you know, pretending not to know. I don't really. Ooh, oh, ooh, I see. Gotcha. So, I think I have a move already here, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. How do I do. Oh, I see. I think. Oh, I do see. Wait, we only use frost on this now. <laughs> yeah, they try to check you. They, there are some very clever puzzles in here. I will say that. I kind of wish this kind of stuff was more throughout the game. Because you want to you wanna use frost on that first, and then you want to move this from the other side of this, because otherwise you just get stuck and you won't be able to go this way. There we go. Now, how do we... Wait a minute. 
Oh, we did this incorrectly. Oh, I see. Okay. We still, we still need to be able to get to it from here, right? Okay, so we are gonna have to move that touchy there, but that'll be later because we ha we have to activate a shortcut first. Oh, that's cool. Very confusing. Okay, thank you. There's a ladder here that I don't have to like go around. I thought maybe I'd have to go back and go to that crevice. There we go. Six, six, six times. <gasps> I'm actually kind of surprised that they didn't make the game didn't make uh, Nintendo. Jeez, man, calm down, Venus Shin. Good lord. Kind of surprised Nintendo didn't make. Uh, Oh, I see. Nintendo make it like 667 coins or something since, you know, 666, number of the beast and stuff. Um, we can also now get this chest, so now... Oh, god damn it. So now we can actually do this. Much quicklier this time. There we go. There we go. In the navan, then we go. It's good, it's good. <laughs> there we go. So now things are... Right, we go this way, and then this way. Oops. I don't know what the other puzzles are here. So I won't say how many flows there are. I will say we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. You know, we're not quite done yet, obviously, but there's, there's, we're getting there. We're getting there. Demon, Demon axe. Um. Malicious poison cloud. It's cursed. It's cursed! Uh, this will already... We're cursed. I don't know if that was a good idea to do yet. I did it. Oops, I actually probably shouldn't have done that yet. Giant axe. Cause it... Oh, Isaac can take that. Okay, we've seen enough of the silver blade. Silver blade! Wait, how much How much better is this for him? A fair amount. Alright. Might have been worth it to sell that, but I guess we don't really need to worry about money no more as do we's. Jeez, this Venus Genie is... Relentless. It is the very last gen in the game. I mean, we could have gotten Luff last, to be honest, because we only need a carry. Oh, wow, we got up there. All right, you little rascal. Where are you gonna go this time? Oh, you're a smart one. I like how he, like he just kind of floats. Look at him float. He's not really moving. <laughs> what is this garbage? This garbo. Uh, so, might remember this from the Val Cave. Wow. Nice animation freeze. <laughs> He's stuck. Is he even my friend? Oh snap, he is! Weird! Maybe it's because he's halted? Therefore he loses his want to fight? I don't know. This is Bane, the very last genie in the game! Attack with nature's venom. So Bane has the ability to cause venom, which is a strong poison. Uh, let's see here. He has plus 12 HP. And, um... Plus four attack. There's a chance for deadly poison, I should say. Um, one of two only thing. Oh yeah, well, this is one of two of the only things in this entire game to inflict deadly poison. The other is being the wicked mace release. Uh, Flint, however, is still a better attack, just based on purely uh, damage-wise. But if you do get like a badly poisoned off, then it definitely makes this guy worth it. All right, I think that's it for this room, right? I hope so. So I haven't been paying attention. <clears throat> Alright, I'm really hoping me putting this cursed weapon on Garrett doesn't screw me over here because it very well could. I don't think so. I mean, as long as... It would really only screw me over, I think, if he gave it to me. Yeah? Wow, guys, we're done. We're done with all the Jin in the game. What? Oh. Earth lizards! They look pretty scrubbly. But they're not. Spoiler alert. Oh, it's attack. Should we just have to... Yeah, I guess so. Right, so use it on Garrett because it's like, you know, why not? Ha 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 Wait a minute, hold on a minute here. Let's focus on one first. Um, yeah, let's put that on Garrett just so next time he could, uh... He could attack twice if he doesn't unleash his weapon or if he gets stuck. Earth Lizard is level 28, 1550 hit points each. They drop 920 gold, 500... 45 experience points, they do have a 100% drop, much like every single single boss in here. Mini boss, kind of, I guess. They have the ability to use Acid Breath, there's a chance to lower attack by 12.5%. Clay Spire, Quake Spire, Mother Gaia, and Cure Well, so they can cure themselves, which is kind of a pain in the booty hole. Uh, should I ground one? You're grounded, young boy! Actually, you're a bit low on hit points, let's do that. Yeah, here we go. This is attack twice. <laughs> 
That'll go well, right? Maybe. Uh, I think next turn we'll have to heal. Well, I, well, I was gonna say, Isaac is down half his health, but Sap will help out. Look at that. Game 12. Great tea, great tea, great tea. Uh, is there anything else about Earth Lizards? Not really. Poison, nice. Oh, there we go. We got the CV attack. Great. Okay. Hey! 155 damage. Good god, that's a lot. In the cloud, great. Um. I think it would be wise. Well, actually we should be okay here. We we'll use flash. Ooh, come to think of it though, this might not be end very well. Soothing mists. Can we still use wish? You know, we're gonna use wish well. I don't want this to screw us over here. Regardless, flash will protect us, but I'd rather have him be healed before he has a chance of dying. Please untank. I should be dead pretty soon here. He doesn't have that much health. There we go. Good, good, good. Hey! I was hoping that would happen eventually. When someone dies of poison, it says, Earth Lizards, one strength is exhausted, and then they just appear. You don't get a ah! noise you normally get. Which is weird, but you know. Alright, this guy should be a walk in the park now. Look at that. Seven, def seven attack. Mother guy, that's crazy. That's crazy! You know what? Let me just start doing that. This, however. Uh, smog? Yeah. Mist? Yeah. And delusion, there we go. This guy shouldn't take too long to kill you. You, you wouldn't think. But you never know. Do I know? Does anybody really know? The answer is yes. I, I, I guess so. Expire. Yeah. See, we could use, like, Luff on him, but I think, like, let's see here. What else does he have the ability to use? Hold on, let's get through this stuff first. This guy should be dead very, really soon, so... Oh, my curse kept me in place. Um, can we use Thor? Spritz, yeah. Okay, Neptune. If we were to use... Uh... Bind on him, you wouldn't be able to use Clay's Fire, Quake Spear, Mother Gaia, or Kira. The only thing you'd be able to use is Acid Breath, which has a chance to lower attacks. So I guess that's not too bad. I don't think they use Synergy when they, they do have their Synergy binded, so there's that. They should be dead to me with this. Die, die, die! There we go. And 100% drop is High 6, level 26. Potent Cure! There we go. That's some HE by, up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 1, agility by 4, and some water of life. That is a 100% drop. This room, right to you. Look at that full gin list. Beautiful. Mwah. 10 out of 10. Uh, right. Potent cure. Um, instead of 150 health, 300. So it's really not. Okay, never mind. I guess Plywell is not that good, but. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, this room. I don't remember this room being too hard. This is why we need carry to be able to get through here. Uh... Huh. Right. So I think this is another room where we're gonna have to exit and leave a bunch, which is kind of a pain in the booty hole. I think we're gonna need... Carry and move. Get through the... Oh my god. You have to sign the exact spot for this to work, apparently. Come on, you scallywag! Should be a chest this way, right? I don't know why you would ever need to walk down there. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Why is there a ladder there? <laughs> there's no point. Right? Am I crazy? No, there's no point. Alright, so you have to leave the room to have that reset, which is, you know, a pain in the booty hole. And there's no monsters. Let's use retreat. Just kidding, I'll bring us to the very beginning of the dungeon. Ooh, that would actually suck a lot. Because I haven't even act I, I I missed that one stone pillar for no real reason. I was like, oh, I'll get on the way up, but that would waste more time. Well, at that point, I'll probably just cut out and meet you guys back at Venus Lighthouse. Kind of mean to make you guys watch me do that again, right? Uh, let's go this way just to avoid me having to use move on it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hey, let me know. And we might have to reset the room again after this if I remember this puzzle correctly. So that's always fun. Psy Crystal, good, good. Let's see what happens when we go this way. Uh, 
Right. Yep, we sure do, all right. I need to get that one. I think so, anyways. Wait, hold on. There's nowhere to go from here, right? We need that chest. Yep, we totally do. Right? <laughs> I keep second guessing things. Let's see what else is through this room before we do anything else, though. I guess we could. No. No. Yeah, I guess we could finish the room, but now, you know, it's still probably be faster just to do this normally. Yeah, right. I was like, wait, I think there might be a way to not reset the room, but now we totally have to do this. That last chest there it looks really weird. How the heck do you get that one? You can't put a carry stone like that. By the way, when you do move a carry stone, you can only move it one block, so. Uh, you can push off those ledges on there, and we'll have to reset the puzzle, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna waste time with that cramp. Crapioli, ravioli. Um, you can only move it one block, so if you got to this edge and then use carry, it would just fall through there, anyways, so. Have to be a bit more crafty with it. You gotta get, get a bit more jiggy with it. Ooh. How do we do this, actually? Uh-oh. Brain farting. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Push it there. And then want to move it, I guess, down. Probably should have not done that, but that's fine. And we want to move over here. And there we, there we go. Hopefully we won't have to reset this room again. Have you reset it, what, three times? Come on, man. No, it's cool. I think this is what I think it is. Oh, Wicked Mace. Oh, this is going to be a fun one. This is Poison Death Curse. Oh, Garrett can use it. Interesting. Okay, uh, this is a better weapon for Mia than the Righteous Mace, obviously, by quite a bit. But it is Curse, and Curse items you want to be very careful with. We will be using it, but not quite yet. Actually, I guess we could use it. Well... There's an item we get in here that actually makes using cursed weapons a bit less annoying to use. More on that in a wee while. Okay, it's time to finish this room. Ah, uh, there we go. The floor looks like it has scales or it has some gross green looking disease. Do not want. Great. And this should complete the room, we think. Hope, I pray. Yeah, this room isn't my favorite. It's okay, like, puzzle-wise. I just, like I said, I mentioned before, I do not like rooms that you have to, like, the solution to, like, getting everything is to leave the room to restart the puzzle. That kind of takes you out of it. Anyways, we got that chest. You oddly enough, I just have to jump this way. Oh, I was wrong. Seven, 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 seven coins. Great, we did it. Uh, how's my health and everything looking? Okay, we are down a little bit. And maybe she fell. Good, we did it. Uh, let's save. We could end it here, but let's take these little puppets on, shall we? Fighting poison toads and thunder lizards. Oh wow! Actually, I haven't gone over these guys yet. So my notes, we should have not a fought. Or we should have already fought these things because I have them ri written down for uh, find these guys in Venus Lighthouse, I believe. Uh, actually, I do know this. Alright, we'll go with the Poison Toad first. Poison Toad, level 34, 2,250 hit points, 220 gold, 1,732 experience points. Wow, that's a lot. It does have a 100% drop. Storm Blessing. Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah, um, that's not good. No, it's not. That's really not. Um, crap. Uh, that's not... Oof. Oof. Alright, we're just gonna heal because their health are down quite a bit. Um... Poison Toad, they have the ability to use uh, Rapid Fang, which is pretty deadly. Um, Acid Breath, which has a chance to lower defense. Rotten Blood, which also lowers defense. Uh, Rapid Fang also has the ability to poison. Acid Breath. Yeah. Actually, no, this does, yeah. Alright, um, this is not going very well, it turns out. Yeah, god dangers. God dangers. Alright, Mia. Be quick about healing, please. Still not dead, holy crap, man. Uh, I think the thunder. Hold on, let's see my nails here. No, okay, there is. <laughs> Are you wake up, Garrett and Ivan. Jeez, man, they should wake up soon. Paralyzation works the same, like I mentioned before, as. Ooh, yeah, we should start buffing. I was really hoping to kill one of these guys, but it's not working out for me. <laughs> um. 
Thunder Lizard. It's a level 28. 456 hit points? Or 50. It might be. Actually, I think it's 50. Come on, you guys. Wake up. Um, they dropped 6, 221 gold, 425, <laughs> 422 uh, experience points. They have a chance of dropping a Blessed Maze, which is... Oh, what can we haven't seen yet? I was like, wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Oops. She's Bane. Bane! Oh, yes, I remember Dungeon Protection. Okay, there's no way this lizard isn't going on this turn, so we'll just do that. And you could actually do that. Um... Uh, they could use Storm Breath, which could stun. That's the only thing it use. Wow. But if you kill a Storm Lizard with a Venus Shinny, uh, the chance of it dropping a Busted Mace drops that, or increases to 3.125%, which is still, you know, not the best. Oh, good, he's asleep. Shh, don't wake up. Don't wake up the little pupper. There we go. Holy crap. What a crazy start to this battle, man. All right, there's no way that Thunder Lizard will die to two hits there. So, we'll, in fact, we'll even... We'll even use a tornado that'll get both of them, so he should die. There we go. Hey! Guy's gonna be defending, but hey, at least he's dead. Good. Okay, so now it's just a stupid poison man. Poison man! Oh, Garrett's deadly poison. That's not a good one. Uh. Yeah, we'll just use Cybele. We should. Well, <laughs> is this a shimmy close to death? But I guess not. I guess Tonic would be a good, would be a good time to use Tonic. Let's do that. If he doesn't die. Hey, stun. Good, good, good. Blah. <laughs> what a stupid stun. I've talked about this before, right? I love how it just it spits out seeds and the attack is vines going up and then disappearing and dropping them. The attack is just being dropped down from gravity. Ugh. 99 health is just from that. There we go. I heal Garrett. Uh, nothing really I could use here. It's Ragnarok. Uh, Scorch. Gurst. And I guess Boreas. Wow, Boreas. Yeah, no way. No way, bro. Should go down eventually. Should be relatively simple to finish this guy off. There we go. Wow, that was a good fight. 28 20 experience was awesome. Garrett is now level 26 warrior. Debilitate! Eh, it's okay. Maximum HP up by 8, PB by 2, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 3, and 100% drop is Water of Life. Wow, that's a lot of coinage. Not that it really matters anymore. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you're already. Oh god, this room. Um, hmm. Right. Alright, I'll talk to you guys next time. We start this very complicated looking room. Bye!